All right. Welcome to the irrigation station. Today, we're joined with UC Farm Advisor, Danny Light. Danny, why is it so important for growers to understand what their applied water is? Applied water is really how much water you're giving to those trees to produce the leaves and the nuts. At its simplest, being able to calculate your applied water is the surest way to know that you're matching the tree's ET requirements throughout the growing season. There's multiple ways that a grower can do this, correct? Yeah, absolutely. If you have a flow meter on your pump, you can take a photo of your meter at the time that you turn the pump on. You can take another photo of it at the end. That'll tell you the gallons that you applied. And then you just need to know how long the pump ran. So if you're using a flow meter and struggling with the calculations, check out page 94 in the Almond Irrigation Improvement Continuum. Now, Danny, if a grower doesn't have a flow meter, are there ways that they can still figure out what their applied water is? Simple. Use a catch can. Okay. So now we have our catch cans and we're going to put around 10 to 15 out. Now where do we want to put these? You want to put them directly underneath the emitter. Ideally, you would have your catch can set up in various points around the orchard. So some may be near your main line and some may be out at the ends of your laterals. Okay, now that we've captured our flows, what's the next step? Now it's time for the higher math. To the whiteboard! Awesome, all right Danny, what do we need to make these calculations actually make sense? First thing you need is a couple bits of information from your field. You need the number of emitters per tree that you have. In this okay. orchard, it's 12. Okay. You need your tree spacing. In this block, it's 18 by 21. And you need to know the volume that you got from your catch can. So here, we collected 72 milliliters of water in two minutes. So now? First thing you've got to do is convert that 72 milliliters into gallons per hour. 72 mils is what we calculated. This is a constant, 0.008 and we multiply those numbers together to get 0.576 gallons per hour, or about 0.6. Okay, so we take that number, and now we gotta make that into inches per hour. How do we do that? Exactly, we take our 12 emitters per tree, times 0.6 gallons that we just calculated, and our tree spacing down here, 18 times 21. Multiply that by a constant, 1.6, 0.03 inches per hour is what your system is putting out. Now in 24 hours, how much water is that really putting out? Well, this is a pretty simple calculation. We just take our inches per hour, multiply it by the hours of the system runtime, and we get 0.6 inches of water applied. Now, we can take that number and put it in our irrigation schedule to understand how much water we applied in this last irrigation set. So, if this number is a struggle for you to get to, that's okay. It's a struggle for us as well, but we cheat sometimes and use the irrigation continuum. On page 84, you can find this exact equation where you can input your own applied water information to help you find out what that actual number is. And if you currently are not using anything to do your irrigation scheduling, I recommend you check out the free irrigation calculator at sustainablealmondgrowing.org. Thank you, Danny, for your help today. Absolutely. Nailed it! Irrigation scheduling, it's easy as that! <laughs> this is the director's cut of, yeah, of the blue <laughs>